Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to draft and seal a call network. So if this is your first time visiting our channel, please kindly like, subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post a new video. So guys, the requirements needed for this call network will be needing the length of our dress, the bust measurements, your shoulder measurements, your bust points. Yeah, basically that's all. So we're going to start right away. First thing, I'm going to draw a mark our border line. That's our shoulder line. This is our shoulder line. I'll be using 19. 19 for the length of my top. I'm just going to mark 19. And I'll do a straight line. Okay. So now the next thing I'll do, I'm going to be marking my bust points and the bust point measurement that I'm using, working with is 10. So I'm going to be drafting our horizontal measurement. So here is the shoulder, the bust point, and the full length. The full length is 19. So guys. From the bust point, I'll be going up by 1.5 to get our chest line. So I'm marking it. So now this is our chest line. And now from the shoulder line, I'm going to mark our shoulder measurement. And the shoulder measurement I'm working with is seven is 14 divided by two. That's seven. So I'm going to mark seven. From the shoulder, I'm just going to come down by one inch to get our shoulder slope. Then I'm going to mark two and a half here to get our shoulder slope. So I'm going to connect as seam. So from here, I'm just going to mark the seven inches down to my chest line. This is it, to get our armhole line. So I'm going to connect like this. Can you see guys? So from here, I will go ahead to impute our bust measurement. And the bust measurement that we are working with is 33. That is divided by eight. I'm going to have 8.25. So I'm marking it here. Here the center of this line. The center of this line is here. So we go in by half of an inch to get our ample pole. So guys, this is it. So I'm just going to connect like this. Sorry. So guys, this is it. I'm going to be adding my seam allowance. So I'll be adding two inches seam allowance. So we'll repeat the same thing to the hem of this dress. We had, okay, we have 10 and quarter of an inch. So I'm going to mark the same 10 and quarter of an inch. So guys, I'm just going ahead to connect this. So we're going to be using this pattern to cut the back first before we cut the front. So before that, remember we're going to use the slash, this um, slash and spread method. So from this chest line, I'll go up by four inch. Can you see? I'm going up by four inches. From this chest line, I'm just going to connect. I'm just going to connect. Can you see, guys? So, this is it. I'll cut this out and show you what's next. To Let's cut this out. So, the next thing I'll do, I'm just going to pull this inside. Remember, this is where we want to. This, this, we are going to be cutting this off. You are making a cow neck. So, we are going to be cutting this off. Remember, we went up by four inches here. So, we're going to be cutting it off. Let me cut it off so you can see. So this is it. I'm going ahead to cut this. So I'm going to, from the chest line, I'm just going to fold this inside like this. I'm just going to fold this. Can you see? So I'm going to, so this is going to serve as the back pattern. So I'm going to bring the material, the fabric, then we cut it. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut this. Remember, this is the center back. Remember, this is our arm holding. So my fabric is on fold. I've gone ahead to cut this. I added half of an inch. Or, or at the upper part and at the down part. So, so the next thing that we're going to do, guys, I'm just going to. So I'm going to keep this aside, so you can decide to not share, so you could you would know that this is your center back and this is the upper part, so you don't get confused when you start joining. Okay, so I'm going to keep this aside, and we're going to be working on this right away. So now, from this chest line, we're going to be slashing here to this point. We're going to slash here 
so I'll, 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 I'll cut it out and see. Yeah, can you see? This is it from the chest line. So I'm going to bring a new for a new pattern paper and continue. So this totally depends on how wide you would, you want the the curl neck to be. So for this, I'll be using five inches. I'm just going to tip. Let me tip tip this down. So depending on how white you want it to be i'm going to spread this so i'll be using five inch so i'm going to measure five inch from here can you see i'm going to measure five inch from this my chest line so this is it you can use five you can use six it depends on how you want to connect it yeah i want ahead to secure this can you see so my extension i extended it with five inch so the next thing that i'm going to do from this i'm just going to extend this line can you see i'm just going to extend this line see it guys i just went, went ahead to extend this line so that's where we'll be cutting off from i'm going to cut off this we're going to add half of an inch here but i'll cut it out first so that you can see so guys this is it can you see this is our front pattern so i'm just going to get my material i'm going to transfer it to the fabric so guys i've gone ahead to transfer my pattern to pattern to my fabric so i discovered that the initial material that i intend to use i wanted to use a dull face material but i discovered it wasn't giving me the effect the cold effect so i went ahead to use a velvet material this is it so you must use something you must use a material that is light else you won't have you won't get the effect the effect won't be felt on the cow neck so this is the front here is the back i also cut a facing for the front this is it look at the facing then i went ahead to cut a facing for the back as well this is it and also i have my straps of fabric i'll be going over to my sewing machine i'm going to be folding the edges so i'll go ahead and fold the edges i'll fold this other edge i'll fold the edge as well then i'll show you what next to do i'm going to fold this into two and i'll stitch it down after stitching it down i'll show you what next to do so guys i've gone ahead to to sew the edge can you see this is it this is it can you see I run ahead to conceal the edge. This is the back, and here is the strap. So I turned it out after stitching it. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to this is the front, right? This is the front. So I'm going to place the facing on it like this. I'm going to take this my strap. I'm going to be fixing it here. Can you see? I'm going to be fixing it here like this. I'm going to fix it here, then I'm going to stitch all the way. This is the second one. This is the second side. So guys, this is it. I've gone ahead to iron these. Can you see? Let me show you how the whole neck should look like. Can you see? It should have something like this. So it's already giving us that effect. So by the way, the next thing we'll do, we're going to bring the back pattern and align it to the front so guys i've gone ahead to place the back on the front so as you can see so in order to put my strap for the back i'm going to be measuring four inches from the side this is it for then as for this my 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 fabric is actually stretching so i'm going to be measuring it so i have it for the back so i'll, I'll, I'll pin it like this remember you measure four from here this is it then for this i'm using it so i'll repeat the same thing to the other side So the next thing I'll do, let me align this well. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to place the 
facing on it and sew. This is the facing for the back. I'm going to stitch half of an inch all the way. I'm going to be stitching half of an inch all the way and show you what next to do. Guys, I've gone ahead to sew this as you can all see, it's looking so beautiful. So the next thing I'll do, I place the right side for the back and the front. I've gone ahead to stitch the side, the two sides. So the next thing I'll do, remember we use them seam allowance of two inches i later trim off half of an inch so that means i'm going to ahead to my sewing machine to sew 1.5 i'm going to sew 1.5 as our seam allowance and we are done with the class can you see the effect already it's looking so beautiful so guys if this is your first time visiting our channel kindly like subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so you can get updates from us whenever we post a new video.